Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about the FX Pack Pro, previously known as the SD to SNES. Uh, recent news about this is that recently Akari released firmware version 1.11.0. This is the first major release that's not a beta since 2019. For those that you don't know what the FX Pack Pro is, it is an FPGA-based Super Nintendo cart. It has compatibility with most of the special chips that the Super Nintendo used, so it has very high compatibility. It also is known for supporting the MSU-1 project, which adds CD-quality audio to your Super Nintendo games. Uh, there's custom packs by various users. Uh, it's pretty cool if you're into that, as long as you don't mind it not being the official audio that you maybe grew up with. So if you go to sd to snesde uh, this post is right at the top. You can download the files right here. And with this new firmware, we got Super Game Boy support. Uh, in the US, we only got the original Super Game Boy. In Japan, they actually got a revision that fixed some frame rate and audio issues called the Super Game Boy 2. This project will be using that. I cannot link to those, so you will be responsible for getting those files. So you'll download your firmware, you'll extract it. I already have it extracted here. Double click. You're gonna scroll down to readme.sgb, and this will give you your instructions right here for Super Game Boy. So you need to Obtain a copy of the SGB2 boot ROM, which is SGB2 underscore boot dot bin. Then you're also going to need the SGB2 SNES ROM. So we can extract the ROM here. And then we need to rename that ROM to SGB2 underscore SNES dot bin. So we're going to rename get rid of the whole file extension. It's going to pop this up because we're changing the file extension name. We're gonna go yes. And then we will drop both of these files into our SD to SNES drive folder. Now we will move over to my Super NT, which I'll be using for this uh, to finish this. Uh, like I said, you just need to Put this SD to SNES folder in the root directory of your SD card. And uh, we'll now be switching over to my Super NT and uh, that I'm running through a DAC on my little 14 inch Toshiba CRT. All right, we're over here at the SD to SNES, which is the version I have. Now we're going to run cartridge because I have a Super NT. So from here, we're going to press X. We have system information. This is going to tell us if our Super Game Boy is working. So you can see down there it says SG B2 boot bin sgb2 snes stop bin and this is okay if it does not say okay it is not working correctly so i created two different folders so for this instance we got our game boy and let's play some super mario land As you can see, it is working. And now we are playing Super Game Boy. This does use Super Game Boy 2, which actually never came out in the US. We only got the original Super Game Boy, which had a couple issues. And so the Super Game Boy 2 was only exclusive to Japan, so that's what this is running. 
As you can see, it's running pretty good. Some of my favorite games, one of the very first games I ever got on my original Game Boy back in the day. Still a great classic. Oops. I guess we will leave it at that. So that is how you upgrade your firmware or install your first time firmware on your FX Pack Pro or your SD to SNES and how to install the Super Game Boy on it. That's it for today. Have a good one. See you next time.